Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn data roaming off or on on the Google Pixel 8a. If you haven't already, you can see our unboxing setup videos and the initial review of the official Google Pixel 8a case. But to start off turning data roaming on and off, the easiest way to do it is through the settings menu. Just pull down your notification bar, pull down again. At the bottom of the screen, you'll have a little uh, cog for settings. Go into the settings menu, network and internet, then select your SIMs and select the active SIM you want to switch as data roaming off or on on. Once you've selected that, you'll see that there's an option uh, towards the bottom of the, the menu, which is roaming. You can switch data roaming off just by tapping the toggle on uh, your menu. Now, likewise, if you want to switch data roaming on, say you have it off, but you've arrived somewhere where you want to use data roaming, um, the process is very similar. Just pull down your notification shade, pull it down again, set that, click that settings cog, network and internet, select SIMs, and then select the exact SIM card you want to use. In this case, my one's called Smarty and switch data roaming on. Now, when you click or, or switch that toggle on, you will get a little warning saying, allow data roaming, roaming charges may apply. So once you've done that, that's how you turn data roaming on. Now, if you're using your Google Pixel 8a with eSIMs, um, that's a different conversation. We'll be doing a separate video on that uh, soon here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. But for the purposes of this video, I've shown you how to switch data roaming off or on on the Google Pixel 8a. If you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, feel free to reach out to us here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. And if you don't already, uh, please do uh, give us a quick subscription and like. And as usual, if you leave us a comment in the section below, we'll do our best to get back to you, uh, either in the responses to this video, or we might even do a dedicated video if the question is, is interesting enough. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.